Thursday, June 10, 2021, dear internet users, it's always a pleasure to have you watching our press review on G Day C Plus TV. We open with the Guardian Post. It banners as main headline news story after announced visa restrictions. Top U.S. diplomat tells government separatists stop jubilating, embrace dialogue. The announcement by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken imposing visa restrictions on persons believed to be agents enhancing the crisis in the English-speaking regions, according to the paper, spark fresh fireworks. Propaganda, multiple interpretations and grandstanding have taken center stage both parties involved in the conflicts drawing the blankets to their side and in the midst of all this, the government and separatists have been called upon to rather embrace dialogue as a sure way out of the conflict, as you will read on page 3. Page 7 of the Guardian Post takes us to the National Assembly currently holding its June session. The paper says at the opening ceremony, the government was tasked to clean the nation of 7,000 illegal weapons circulating. The House Speaker nevertheless hailed efforts made so far by the Minister of Territorial Administration, Paul Tanganji, to curb the circulation of these weapons. And we move over to Bamenju in the West region before taking another paper, where we are told that four members of the same family died over the weekend after consuming traditional medicine. The victims, a 58-year-old and three of her grandchildren, died after leaking a mixture of palm oil and charcoal. The Guardian Post recounts the tragic story on page 5. Our next stop is the media newspaper. The paper comes back on the situation in the northwest and southwest regions and U.S. decision to impose visa restrictions on those fanning the flames of the conflict. The paper says this decision sends grim signal to separatist kingpins with details on page 3. The paper equally talks COVID gate. It tells its readers that the CPDM Central Committee supports the head of state's decision to hit hard on those who will be found guilty of having embezzled funds destined for the fight against the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. And we talk sport before moving on after rumors of withdrawal of the 2021 Afghan hosting rights from Cameroon. The media says the Minister of Sports and Physical Education, Professor Nassis Mwele Kombi, reassures that the country is ready and will host the competition come January 2022. He says preparations are going on hitch free with details on page 11. We talk fight against the COVID-19 pandemic to end this press review. Cameron Tribune says a vast awareness campaign has been recommended to make the population understand the necessity for them to take the vaccine. Recommendation made at the end of a restrained evaluation meeting of the country's COVID-19 vaccination program chaired by the Prime Minister, Head of Government, Chief Dr. Joseph Djongute. Wednesday, June 9. And that does it for what the papers had to say today. A big thank you to you for watching. Our next edition comes up on Monday.